babies, we are running late for church. Um, outfit check. Duke Louis Vuitton hats. Gold jacket from Akira. Chain. White body bodysuit with the gold trimmings. White pants and white pumas. Got the uh, gold belt to accessorize it from Beauty Supply. White Puma sneakers. We on our way to church. Let's go. We're running late, as usual. Welcome to Vlogmas number four. It's a Jeremiah one, too. It's on the screen, says, You have seen correctly, for I am watching to see Ooh. that my word is I'm not just gonna see you out there, I'm watching. And there's gonna be some things that's gonna try to stop you, but I'm here to protect you from danger seen and unseen. Because my word cannot return unto me empty. Can I tell you something? The devil wanted to kill some of y'all in your sleep. But God said, no, nah, nah, it hasn't been fulfilled yet. The enemy wanted to try to hurt you and harm you. What's me? Yeah. 
Hey grandbabies, so we is at Soul Veggie. I messed up right after God had fixed me inside, right? I messed up and started eating all this back, went hurry up back to eating the uh, foods that I know that I really can't digest. So I, excuse me, I can't digest chicken. For, for some reason, I just can't digest meat. It just sits in my colon and that's not healthy, right? So why do I keep doing it? Because it tastes good to me. Anything that's like sometimes that's not really good for you or good for me. I'm going to speak on me now. I can't speak to anybody else. Anything that's not good for me, I gravitate to it. Like it could be like when I used to love to get drunk. Every day like the, that night, I could be throwing up. I could be feeling terrible. I'd be like the next day, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking no more. But yet and still, every opportunity I get, I, I go back and drink. So, like, this meat and stuff is just not for me. It's not for me. So, I, as soon as my bowels get the flu, and like, I wasn't going to the bathroom. I'll be honest with you guys when I tell my story. I wasn't going to the bathroom without using laxatives or uh, prune juice, just different stuff. And everybody else will be just going to the bathroom, and I'm sitting there like, What's wrong with me? Everyone that's on this earth is different. And in order for me to live a healthy, prosperous life, I have to do what's right. So I'm about to go up and sow veggie. I'm going to start over. Start again. I see my skin is light. It might be purging because I've been eating like that for 40 years. And it's okay for it to get a little bumpy and the germs come out. It's okay. I'm here for it. It's okay if I lose weight. I was probably attracting all the wrong men with a big old booty and stuff anyways. Maybe I manifest and attract the right people, the right type of friends. If I eat healthy and, and speak healthy. And if I uh, have a healthy way of life, I'm going to attract nothing but healthy people in my life. So, I just left church. I recorded it a little bit. I hope I didn't want to do it the long way like I always do, like I'm actually taking y'all to church. I just want to encourage y'all with a positive word on this Sunday. Today is Vlogmas number four, and I'm here for it. I'm going to do my best to make it to the 25 days. If I have to upload two videos a day, it is what it is. I'm a go-getter. I've been through some terrible things, guys. I've been through some. I've been in the shelter. I, and all of that was because of my doing. It wasn't. It, it God never left my side. He never. He never um, took his hand out of my hand. He never changed his unchanging hand. He always been there. It's been me the things I chose to do in my lifetime that caused me to suffer. I done chose bad relationships, abusive men. They always gave me signs that I was liking them more than they was liking me. So. I don't want to like nobody more than they like me. I want to be like Teddy Pendergrass, say, a 50-50 love. If it ain't 50-50, I don't want it. I don't want them liking me more than I like them either. I don't want to like them more than they like me because when somebody like you more than you like them, they could hurt you because it leads to envy and jealous and that, that'll have a person, a man, you. he'll harm you. He'll hurt you bad. And that ain't, that ain't the lifestyle I choose to live. And... And I don't want to like nobody. Every time, all the toxic relationships I had that, that caused me to get a bruise, like physical bruise, it came from someone who was younger than me. I think I'm attracted to their youth. Maybe it's something that I didn't do when I was young. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, enjoy my youth. I grew up, I was a grown lady at 15 because of the lifestyle my mama did and the lifestyle I chose to do. I chose to have a kid at a young age. My mama ain't one in no bedroom with me making me do these things. The lifestyle she chose to live kind of affected me and the, and the lifestyle that I chose to live, I, I got attracted as I got older to younger men. And when I was younger, I was attracted to older men. 
Like something is wrong with me. I'm an unhealthy, unbalanced person for that. So right now I'm working on me, guys. I'm working on detoxing my body out, cleansing all the toxic out of me. I'm the toxic one. I bring toxicity with me with, with friendships, with relationships. Just to think if I've been a bruise, when I start dating a healthy man, I talk to him derogatory. So now I'm the a bruiser. When I have friendships, I have been with a lot of females that crossed me. So now when I do get a nice friendship, if she do one thing, I, I feel like I can't forgive her. And I always want to call her on her stuff. Some things you don't have to call a person on. Some things just zip your mouth up. You noticed it? Sometimes you just have to fall back without an explanation because when you tell a person why you're falling back, they're going to justify it as it's your bullshit. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's really them. So instead of trying to clean everything up, so sit down, let's sit down and talk about it. It's a lot of things you do need to sit down and talk about with people. True. But it's a lot of things people already know. If you cut them clean, cold turkey off, they know why. They know why. And they can ask themselves over and over again, what did I do to her? Why, why she ain't talking to me? Why she ain't picking up the phone? Or why? Or the guy could be like, baby, 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 why you ain't responding to my text message? Baby, 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 why you ain't calling me no more? He know why. Just as well as when you messed over someone and they cut you off. You know why. They don't have to give you an explanation and you don't owe anyone one. You owe yourself one. You owe yourself complete happiness. And you deserve to be healthy. And I'm speaking on me. I'm time soon. I want to live abundantly. And I want to live in Ephesians 3.20 in my overflow of money. I don't know how to save money. So that's something I'm working on. I'm working on getting myself up out of depression. Because I always fall deep in depression. And I keep telling y'all, when I tell y'all, the word of the day is to never give up. I'm speaking to me. Them fun facts I need to tell myself. Never give up. Because not only am I living for me, I have a daughter and grandkids. That I want them to see good in me. How can I tell my daughter to stop doing this in the, in the third when I'm doing it? When I'm out here like I'm not almost 50. I want to start carrying myself in a different, different, I, I don't want to even say format. I want to carry myself in a different way, in a positive way. That something that my mother would be proud of while she's resting in her grave. Something she'd be like, that's my baby. I want to see the glow come from on the inside of me to the outside. I see my skin getting better. I didn't just have dark rings under my eyes from stress and lack of sleep. I had liquor liquor in me that I used to be stand up drinking not eating right come on now how many you know how many years and months I wasn't putting fruit in my body you know how many years and months I wasn't putting enough water in my body you know how many years and months I was just just existing going day to day to day to day ain't no more existing I'm going to live and I'm going to live more abundantly and I'm going to do the things that makes me happy and if, if that comes with a young gentleman coming along the way, I'm going to bring happiness into his life. I'm going to leave all the toxicity, whatever I went through as a child. Sometimes it'd be hard to get rid of what you went through as a child. It's hard to get rid of what you went through in relationships. To let it go. I owe myself that much to let it go. So I'm on my way, it's a soul veggie, and I'm going to start again. I cannot eat meat, plain and simple. It's not for me. And whatever is not for you, I ask you my coach, let that thing go. We're going to let it go together. Yeah, we're going to stumble and fall down.
Sometimes you don't even realize how tired you is until you sit down on the couch and you be out like a light, honey. Okay, so uh, we went today in this vlog, what we do, we went to church. We um we went to Veggie's Soul. And now we're going to celebrate Pink Birthday. And welcome to Vlogmas number four. We... We hanging in there, y'all. I'm proud of y'all, babies. We hanging in there, baby. We can do all things, honey. All right, so let's talk about a couple of things before we get started on, on the um, other half of this video. How about your grandma painting? I am a artist, honey. I am a jack of all trades. I never thought that I would be having a work of art that I can hang up, say, I did it. Yes, honey. I love it. Mass look different than others, than everybody who participated, but everybody's looking different. So, yes, I am proud of myself. Yes, but do y'all see how light I'm getting? Yes, my pores and all the toxins is coming up at me, baby. I ain't know how many toxins I had in me, baby. Let me turn on a little bit more light so we can have a good light. Okay, I think that works. Okay, y'all, so yesterday was Pink birthday. Y'all seen me take her to the doctor 
And every time I take her to the doctor, I did not mention she slobs, y'all. She be so nervous, she be slobbing around other dogs. She grew up without being around other dogs. But then, she started hanging around him. We had got another dog named Melo. She started hanging around him. She was slobbing when we first got him, then she stopped. So, when she be, when she went to the doctor yesterday and was slobbing, I was like, hold on, pick, it's your birthday. You can't be out here slobbing. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to paint pink nails. You got pink. All right, pink, come on. Come here. Come here, Grandma. Let's do some things for you. So, we're going to start out by painting her nails. What you guys think? Say hey to the G babies. Okay, put your hands up here. Let's see how this works for us. So, let's get a piece of paper towel. What paper towel do y'all use? Do y'all use bounty? I use bounty. I hope this works for us guys, cause baby, I never put out polish on nails before. I got this nail polish at the Dollar Tree. Let's see, baby. She got her nails cut yesterday, so uh oh. Shouldn't be too hard. So let's try this one. Let me put that straight in there. Let me dry it. I'm sorry. I hope it come out pretty, y'all. <laughs> I never polished her nails before, but it's about pink, right? When it's your birthday, you get pampered. So I let her go to the doctor. Her shots came out to $150. At this point, Pink need county care. Yeah, they need to accept her on county care. I don't understand why dogs don't get county care. Ugh, sit down, bird. Sit down. Before you put nail polish on stuff. Almost dry, y'all. Almost dry, little mama. Happy birthday, Piggy Mama. Y'all, I'm going to insert some clips. My grandson here in Atlanta. My daughter got him an Airbnb for his birthday. She had like over 20 some. Uh uh, didn't know your birth. Over 20 some kids up in that Airbnb. Baby, they did so many TikToks. They had such a good time. One thing about me and my daughter, fun fact, we going to throw a party for them kids and we going to have the whole neighborhood there. Look kids in the house. No, you're going to enjoy yourself that day. Like it's a national holiday or something. Let me see. It's almost dry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm sick, baby. Wait. I know this got to be uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh-oh, you messed it up. Dang. I need a fan, y'all. Okay, grandbaby, so I'm done trying to polish pink nails. A lot of her nails don't show because she got her nails cut yesterday. That was $30. And then her, her um, Shots must was like 120 because her total was 150 and the doctor said that she's pretty healthy to be 11 in her years And she's 77 in dog years. How do I keep up with her birthday is She we got her for my grandson's birthday 11 years ago, so that's how I keep up with her birthday and we got Mello for legend birthday and Mello was struck by a car. That's why we don't have him anymore but they both got a dog for their birthday. And the reason I have pink is because I be so lonely here in Chicago. So my grandson just let me keep her. But, okay, so let's show y'all her little nails that I did. Pink, show them your nails. Look at pink, y'all. Pink, show this hair. Say, hey, I got my nails on. So the doctor said she's pretty healthy. It's just that her teeth is turned. So she got her own toothbrush, and I don't have any doggy toothpaste right now because it's $7, and I just don't have any. 
I didn't stop to get it. So we're gonna use some of the kids toothpaste. And let's try to get some of this tartar off her teeth. Turn around, y'all. Come on, you ain't gonna get wet. Come on, let's brush your teeth. Come on. Get rid of this tartar. She don't like this, y'all. <laughs> get rid of the tartar. Come on. Okay, we brushed her teeth, we polished her nails, we took her to the vet. So now all we have to do now is, let's have her birthday party. So, let's decorate. Okay, get in here, So I got, I blew up some balloons already. I blew up some balloons already for my birthday party. I bought some pink decorations. I bought her a birthday balloon. Let's stick them up. And I bought her some birthday plates. So let's get the Doing her setting up for her birthday party, guys. No, this is not her. I bought this picture at Hobby Lobby. But you know what? In the future, I'm going to just use her own picture. Like, what is, what is I'm doing with this somebody else's picture by her? Up, but it could just be a picture of her. Okay, so let's get to hanging up these balloons for Pink's birthday. Pink, it's your birthday. Pink walked out. She is over with me, baby. She said, baby, you done polished my nails. You done brush my teeth, baby. I'm out of here. Let's take a break for Pink. It's Pink Day. And it's my grandson's birthday, baby. Pink is over me, y'all. She got up out of here, baby. She said, I'm getting up out of this gym. And Francine, you said you, you used to play hockey. And, and you said, no, you, I think you said you love hockey. And you said you love art. So Francine, I've been doing what you like, baby. Let's go, my first grand girl. Okay, we decorating, baby. It's looking good. It's a celebration that lasts throughout the years. So have your good times and bring your laughter too. We're going to celebrate. And party with you. Come on now, celebration. All right, y'all. You got to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Okay, y'all, how we coming? Looking good, huh? Okay, let's put this up here, too. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get out the way for y'all to get a nice little look at the celebration. And let me get cream plate so we can get her some of her good old food. And we're going to say happy birthday to Pink. And then we'll do something else. Girl, look at your girl. Can't even get off the floor. <laughs> I ain't got them making these, baby. Okay, y'all, Pink, she get this dog food sometimes. When my money right, I give her this dog food. Uh, Fresh Pet, it's in the refrigerator by the dog food. She like this, y'all. This costs like $3 and something. So I got her food on this birthday plate. Uh, let me show y'all plates. She got her food on here. So let's, y'all, let's go ahead and sing. I, ch I chopped it up a little bit. Okay, let's get ready to sing, y'all. Okay, Pig, come here. Come on, eat, eat. She'll come for that, y'all. Look how fast she come. Come on. Come on, eat, eat. All right, let's sing happy birthday first. You ready? Go, Pig, it's your birthday. Go, Pig, it's your birthday. Go, Pig, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Okay, she got to do something else, right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Okay, Pink, enjoy your food. I should have bought her a cake right y'all. Let's see how fast Pink grew up down for her birthday. How old are you on this day? I'm 11, I'm 11. Go Pink, it's your birthday. Go Pink, it's your birthday. Go Pink, what's your birthday? It's your birthday, it's your birthday. And what's your zodiac sign? She said, I'm a sage, I'm a sage. You would say serious thing. Say, I'm 11, I'm 11. Go pink, it's your birthday. Go pink, it's your birthday. Go pink, it's your birthday. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Yay! Pink gobbled down that fool, y'all. I don't even think she chewed, she just swallowed. Yay! Now she going on about her business. She said, leave me alone, Grandma. Good job, Pink. We love you. This is happy birthday, Brenda. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all for helping me wish Pink a happy birthday. Okay, y'all. I had to clean out the sink. And I had to clean out, um, clean out the table. Okay, so we got Pink together. Okay, let, let, let's make us some chocolate covered strawberries. I never uh, actually made these before. I think uh, at one of the baby's birthday, we had some type of fountain thing that the chocolate was pouring down on. So we're going to do ours a little, a little ghetto for Vlogmas. We need things to do. So I still have a lot of strawberries left from when I fed the homeless. So... So we're gonna use these, babe. And I, I got some um, almond breeze, banana uh, milk. So we're gonna pour a little bit of that in there. And you, oh yeah, and Francine, me and you was the only one remembers the, uh, popping the popcorn with our mothers when we was younger. Shout out to you, Francine. I know you miss your mother, I miss Mass too, dearly. Oh, another thing, y'all. 
that really made me miss my mom yesterday. When I was at the painting, the uh, it was a white lady sitting next to me. Well, basically everybody that was white, I was the only black person. <laughs> but it's cool. We just gotta do more as blacks. So the the white lady and her mom that was sitting like right next to me that she waved at the camera. You couldn't see her mom wave. I didn't have the camera angled right. And again, I had to take that video down and put it back up because I got a copyright claim. I wanted you all to hear more talking, but everywhere I go, they're playing music. So that what sense does it make to let that music play? Then they get paid for all the hard work that I did. And they already got billions of dollars. They don't need my little two cents. Okay, so her, the, the young lady that was sitting next to me, her and her mother, they was painting guys and they were laughing so hard together. Cherish your mother while you have her, guys. If you're on my channel and you have your mother, cherish your mothers. The laughter that they was doing filled the room and melted my heart so much that it made me think about my mother. It made me think I wish she was alive and I would have loved to have take her to the bottles in Bottega and then her could have painted together and just been laughing. I did a lot with my mom. That really touched my heart. Shout out to the young lady and her mom who, who um, was sitting next to me laughing. Everybody else was there with like their girlfriends, a friend, but they, her and her mom was together. That really, that really melted my heart. So we have to do more, you guys. We have to do more about our parents. And if you, if, if you the parent, the kids have to do more about you. I'm the grandparent. It's time for my grandkids to start doing stuff for me and my daughter. But okay, yeah, that was just that. They was laughing so hard, y'all. It, it was beautiful to see. Okay, so I already put the milk up in here. You know, this is the popcorn maker. Yes, honey. So I'm about to rinse our strawberries. So can you guys see me rinsing the strawberries? So let's rinse the strawberries out. Tell me another way I should have made these. So I can do it the next time. So you know I went to get Thomas one of them smoothies today because Thomas still haven't been feeling as good as he usually do. Since he had caught COVID, he got over the COVID, but he said he still don't feel 100%. So he said, oh, Tasha, you could tell you've been on a um, veggie and fruit diet. I thought he was talking about my weight since I lost weight. He said, no. Your skin looks so light and good. So he encouraged me, you guys. I said, I'm going home and I'm going to continue my journey of doing what I'm supposed to do. And yes, it has been working, guys. I told you guys, I've been going, baby. I've been going. Okay, so we rinsed out the strawberries. Uh oh. Okay. Get that all took care of. Um, this is bounties, baby. I don't even want to use one sheet. For real, for real. Okay, so let's come on. Let's come on back to the table. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on back over to this table. Let's get these chocolate um, covered strawberries together. Okay, so I got these little sticks. These are shish kebab sticks. I'll be making fruit kebabs. So I guess I can do that while I'm doing this fruit and vegetable, vegetable journey. And I don't even know what kind of chocolate to buy. Y'all look far back. I don't really know what kind of chocolate to buy. So I bought, after Dollar Tree, I got four Hershey bars. So let's open them up. Hope this works, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments. So the next time I can make it a different way. One. You know what I noticed too? 
this is my first time doing Vlogmas. And I know my content don't be as good as other people's because of the quality. So you guys, real soon I'll be going to get a ca uh, camera. I bought a camera and I ended up taking it back and getting the iPhone 13. So I'm gonna I'm I'm go back and get the camera. So I, I vlog, still wear my vlog to be high quality like everybody else. So I apologize and I appreciate y'all for sticking around. So. I wonder is this enough chocolate? What y'all think? Should we do one more? Comment below how y'all do y'all chocolate covered strawberries. Cause um, this this looks pretty ghetto. <laughs> Right up my alley, honey. Okay. You gotta do some of these fruits, y'all. For real, for real. And ain't nobody comment in the comment section that y'all been eating more fruit. Come on, y'all. Roll with me on this. Let's do a let's do a 30-day detox together. Okay, y'all, let's go put it in the microwave. Uh-oh. So let me show y'all how it's looking. Can y'all see it? Come on, let's put it in the microwave. Come on. Uh-oh, guys, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, while we wait on the microwave, that's like, watch your paint dry. So name this dance. Can y'all name this dance? Can y'all name that dance? Or can y'all name this dance? Can y'all name this dance? Can y'all name that dance? Or can y'all name the... Hey, hey, hey. Okay, y'all name this dance. Uh oh. All right, y'all name those dances. Okay, the microwave stop. Let's see. Uh oh. Let me show y'all. I'm looking like this already. So, let's stir it up. Y'all already know I ain't no cook. I wish my girl Denise was Vanessa was here, but she would have had a good idea how to do these chocolate colored strawberries. Baby, she is a chef, honey. Okay, can y'all see it from the bottom? Cause I don't seem like y'all can see what I'm trying to show y'all. Okay, let's get started. Come on, y'all, turn around, man. Turn around, please. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna sit in this plate because it's kind of hot. So let's start with the first strawberry. Let me turn y'all around. One more time, please. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see how I come out, guys. Do y'all eat chocolate covered strawberries? You know we could've did chocolate covered grape, wait now, caramel grapes with nuts. We gonna do that too, one of these days in Vlogmas. Okay, let's dip. What you think? What do you guys think? What do you think? One. Uh oh, I should 
washing the hair, so I'm going to lay it on, but let's get a piece of paper towel. You know, these, now I don't even want to use this like one strip. Okay, let's get us another one. We did it. They're going to be fat. Okay, let's go. One more, guys. Oh, you know what? I got some nuts. I should have. Uh... Nah, we'll do that with the grapes. Did y'all be having in y'all city, or if you're from Chicago, did y'all ever have chocolate covered grapes? And do, you know what else I could do? We'll do this too. We'll do this tomorrow. It looks yummy, guys. Okay, I'm gonna save this chocolate because guess what I'm gonna do? Tomorrow morning for Vlogmas number five, we'll, we'll cut some bananas up, we'll dip them in chocolate, and we're gonna put them in the freezer because that's how, at the Taste of Chicago, they be selling uh, like the frozen chocolate bananas. We'll try that out. Yeah, we all some, baby. We all some, baby. Ah, y'all don't know the dance. Oh, y'all don't know this dance right here. Yeah. Y'all don't know these dances. Baby, if you old school, you could name at least one. Okay, so that's enough strawberries. Let's put the almond banana milk back. We on to something. Name some more ways, y'all, where we could, we could use these fruit. We're going to get these fruit. Eight up, baby. I had all this fruit left from feeding the homeless. And I'll do it a million times again. That's how we started our vlogmas. Okay, guys, so... We did that. Let's get this. I, I'm, a, I'm a clean freak, y'all. So I clean up as I go. So I'm going to put these bananas back. I'm going to put this, these sticks back. Okay, guys. Let's, let's see how they taste. So here we go with pink birthday plate. We got our five cup of strawberries. So let's see how one of them tastes, guys. Cheers to you guys. Oh, y'all. It tastes like we could have sold these at a fair. It, it tastes like we could have sold them at the carnival. Oh y'all, it tastes, it tastes so good, y'all. Y'all start doing stuff with fruit. We gonna put down all this meat and stuff. We gonna, we gonna be happy and healthy. Oh 
Okay, guys. We're gonna get this word up in us. Oh, this is the last I want to show y'all. Y'all know I, um, excuse me, if I was eating any type of disrespectful way. I got this days of the week um thing at the Dollar Tree. I used to give my mama her medicine like this, right? So I put my vitamins in here to make sure I take my vitamins every day. Just to try to be on track on getting a little healthy, like adding different vitamins, B12, vitamin D, and stuff like that up into your daily habits. So I'm going to read us one little word. We got to keep God first in everything we do. Okay, I think I read this one. Yeah, I think so. So here go another one right here. This one is the hidden life. This is our daily bread. And at the bottom of the verse, it says, Dear Lord, may I be willing to be hidden and unknown today, yet ready to speak a word to those who are weary. May your spirit touch my words and make them your words that enrich and refresh others. The way to accomplish much for Christ is to serve him in every way we can. And this is the word of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Okay, guys. This is the end of Vlogmas number four. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning for Vlogmas number five. If you watch this video to the end, thank you. God bless you. And happy Sunday. I hope you guys had a, oh, ate some good old food on Sunday. And I hope you got enough rest and recharge and refresh for this week. I know you're going to get a lot did. I believe in you. Don't give up. And keep it pushing. You might can't see your vision right now. You might don't see everything that you want right now. Just know it's coming. It's coming. Whatever you do, don't give up because it's coming. You don't want to get to almost to the finish line and be like, man, I give up. And then it was right there. Just had to take one more baby step. Because when you take one step, God takes two. So, I love you guys again. And this is the end of Vlogmas number four. Good night. And God bless you and everything you touch.